Today I'll be unboxing a product that may not seem interesting at the outset. This is the Foxconn G41SK. It is an LGA775 CPU motherboard and it uses DDR2 RAM. So it's got a fairly bog standard set of features. Here is the full specs on the side. So it uses a G41 chipset. It supports up to 1333 front side bus. It has support for PCI Express 16X. It has onboard video. It has 6 channel audio, so that's 7.1 audio, gigabit LAN, and SATA 2. So it's got basically everything you need for a super basic PC. And it is tiny. So this is a micro ATX board. Bear that in mind. A micro ATX board. Not a mini ITX board, even though it is about the same size as one. And it's got pretty much everything you need to build a fully functional PC with just uh, RAM, hard drive. Well, okay, you have to actually build a PC around it. But the thing that's interesting about it is, for to me, the size and the price. It's super cheap. Comes with an IO shield, a SATA cable, and then a Molex to SATA power adapter. It comes with some motherboard drivers and a quick installation guide. So a fairly basic accessory package, but that's what you'd expect from a board in this sort of price range, where really I haven't seen anything else in literally years. Okay, so here we've got the LGA 775 socket. We've got the power delivery system around the socket. We've got our four pin connector in its almost ideal location near the top left. And then we've got our 24 pin power in its ideal location on the far right. Now you may have noticed already, this is a super, super basic board. You've got one, one slot for DDR2 and that supports up to hopefully four gigs, although I'm kind of guessing here. Please leave a comment under the video for our viewers if you find out how much memory is supported in that one slot. You've got a PCI Express 16x graphics slot, so you can actually install a full-size graphics card in this board if you wanted to. A PCIe 1x slot, so you can put sort of one other expansion card in here. Two SATA drive interfaces. And then you've got your front panel connectors, your onboard speaker header, you've got front panel audio here, you've got, um, hopefully there's a front USB header somewhere. Hold on a minute. Let me figure this out. Huh. I don't see, oh, there they are. <laughs> Okay, there, you've got support for up to four more ports with front panel USB, and you've also got some other pretty useful stuff, like an IR header here. So that would make this a great little media board. All right, so here on the back, we find uh, more media-centric features. So you've got digital audio out. That's a pretty good thing to have on such a value board. You've got two PS2 ports, one VGA out. So I would recommend adding a graphics card if you are going to use this as a media center. Maybe something like in a, a low-end ATI HD 5000 series, like a 5450. That would be a great choice because with that, you can do all of your decoding uh, on the video card. You can put a low-end CPU in here, a little bit of RAM. You use your uh, digital audio, and you've got yourself a heck of a little HTPC for super cheap. And then you've got four USB 2.0 ports, one gigabit Ethernet, and then uh, apparently that's 7.1 audio somehow. But you won't be able to use a microphone while you're using... Uh, those audio ports for 7.1 audio. Uh, I hope I said this is gigabit, and thank you for checking out my simple unboxing, I suppose, of the G41S-K from Foxconn. And then the last thing I wanted to do is just compare it really quickly against uh, Mini ITX. So this is a Mini ITX board. You can see the Mini ITX board is actually only um, like a centimeter and change shorter. And then in terms of width, the Mini ITX board is exactly the same width. So the only major difference is the positioning of the mounting holes. So you can see this top left one is the same. Okay. You can see the one over here is the same in this corner. And then where we start to run into differences is here. So the Mini ITX board has one right under the IO, uh, the IO uh, panel. And then this other board has... Actually, no, that looks like it's in the same spot too. Hold on a minute. Oh. Well, there you go. Okay, so the only reason it's not Mini ITX is because it's not short enough then. There you have it. Foxconn G41SK Mini ATX Motherboard. Unboxing. Don't forget to subscribe to my video blog.